Alright, so I haven't lost any games during the past two months using this strategy with French on Decon. And the reason that it's so good is because you get that market, you get hunting dogs, then you buy wood with the coin you gather from the start because Decon has so much like wood crates and just crates in general. And then you make a TP and then eventually you'll make a second TP. Now you don't make that house, so you age up with 12-10, but you can't really like get that house if you get two TPs, it's just too much. You don't have enough like starting crates for that. But yeah, this strategy is just amazing. And I rarely lose with it. Like, I don't know. I can't really say for sh like exactly how much game I lost with it and won, but it could be like 20 wins four loss or something like that like some insane stats that's for sure okay and also the reason it's so good is because you get economic theory when you age up but first you obviously send in the three bills and economic theory gives your cdbs a plus 10 percent gather rates for like whatever resource they're gathering from so coin mines trees hunts berries anything really and it's, it's just going to boost your eco. And like by the time uh, you send in, when you age up, you'll send in like a 700 coin first because you'll make Hussars. And by the time that 700 coin comes in, you'll have another shipment so you can send in 700 wood. So it doesn't slow your shipments down. And by that time you get like that 700 wood, maybe that economic theory uh, gathered you maybe like 300 or 400 food or something like that so it pays off pretty quickly if you think about it so yeah as you can see already getting that uh, second TP and as you can as you can see I chopped a bit of wood it was supposed to only be 50 I over chopped a little um, but yeah I bought I think like a hundred or 200 wood from the market with the starting coin and that's what you want to do. And yeah, 1210. And as you can see, you don't really have that much idle time like uh, for your town center. Like you're going to age very soon. So it's that's why it's like so good. If you do it with Spain, for example, it could work. But I believe they start with a fewer like wood crates. And also your age up is going to be a bit delayed because they don't gather as fast as like CDBs, for example. And yeah, overall, it's just worse with Spain. So I really suggest you do it with France. And man, those France Hussars are so good. So during transition, I'll get Gangsaw, as you can see. It's just worth it because I'll get that third TP, actually. And that, you can't like really do it every time. But when you can, man, it's good. <laughs> like, that's really nice. So yeah, that's why I get Gangsaw. I'll need a house. Because I'm already at 1210, so I'll need to queue up a bill when I age up. I'll need the Steel Traps upgrade and Placer Mines as well. So overall, I'll need a lot of wood. I think it's like, yeah, 400. So it's worth it. And now Economic Theory is in. So plus 20% uh, on wood for my villagers. So that's just really nice. And for food right now, it's, uh, it's still 20% as well. But when I get Steel Traps, it's going to be 40%, which is just insane. So yeah, and think about it. Also, that economic theory on French villagers is better because they already gather uh, gather much faster than a normal villager. So plus ten percent for like a, I think it's like one point two gather rate. No, it's one point zero four for food or something. It's much better than ten percent for zero point eighty four food per second that like a normal villager would gather. Um, it's about that zero point eighty four or something like that. Anyways, so. I'm getting that house up, and yeah, a bit slow because now I can't make that build. There you go. And yeah, I get steel traps, and it's looking pretty good. I got that third TP, and eventually you want to stagecoach that line. And look at that, 4 minutes, 22 seconds in. Like, that's a pretty fast age up. Obviously, it's on Decon, so it's kind of normal. But I got like three TPs, and it's like 4 minutes, 30 seconds. I got all market upgrades except for maybe acclimation that it's like quite important eventually but not like at the start placer mines is just much better and much cheaper uh, it's like 150 resources instead of like 400 for like only a 10 percent gather rate difference on coin and yeah as you can see sending in the 700 coin first we're gonna make that those uh hussars already queuing them up 
I have two already. And as you can, uh, as you could see, that 700 coin hits the floor, and right at it, I send in that 700 wood. So there was like no pause in between those two shipments. And I'll probably have like a third, another, I mean, shipment as soon as that 700 wood like hits the ground, or like pretty soon after that, maybe halfway there or something. Anyways, economic theory already paid me like probably pay me back a shipment at least or like a 700 food shipment something like that it's just it's still super worth it to send in and also it assures you to have like a five hussar batch and that's like a hussar batch at like five minutes 40 seconds that's still very good even though it's on decon and the reason i get that 700 wood um it's what my no it's actually my fourth shipment is because I want to upgrade my TP line. Now's like the time. I send my four vills now, and as you could see, I didn't have to wait too long to send them in after my 700 wood came in. And now I have like all my eco up, so no longer need like any XP really. So that's why I'm gonna like upgrade my my stage uh, my trading post route and upgrade them to stagecoach to then generate wood from those TPs and just keep making houses. Maybe get agglomeration from the market. And also have t uh, town centers when you age up. And that's really what's really good about this strategy. Is like, so you, you make a lot of Hussars. You put early pressure. It's kind of a sort of r rush strat, but you still get TPs. It's kind of dumb when you think about it. It's just too good. And once I hit uh, Fortress Age, I'm going to make it, like two town centers. I'll have enough wood, almost. Like, by the time he'll... My explorer's gonna make, like, the second TC. I'm gonna have enough wood to make my third, just from the TPs. Now, obviously, they can try to to, um, to attack them. But, like, if they do, I can raid their base and they're, like, vulnerable. Or I can even defend my TP line. They're, it's Hussars, right? So unless it's Pikes or Musketeers that attacks it, I can defend it fairly easily. And also... I'm just faster than them, so I'll have more troops by the time they age up and all. So it's really hard for them to put that pressure on your TP line. So you can literally defend it, plus, um, like, rush at the same time. So it's like a super boomy rush. It's it's just, just so good. Doesn't really make much sense, right? But, yep, that's France on this map. And that's just the beginning. You're about to see, like, how nasty it'll become. So yeah, it's only like 7 minutes 50, so it's kind of normal they didn't like attack yet. Um, obviously, we're just like I'm putting the pressure on. They could try to raid, of course, but they're playing India, right? So India puts the fort in the middle in between his base and Blue's base, my mate. And also he defends that TP, so it's not a terrible spot to put his fort at. Um, he'll definitely be able to defend his TP. I'm trying to siege it down, but you're about to see... Um, He's going to get, like, sea poison and all, so it's not going to work, obviously. And, like, I'm expecting it. It's just to put, like, the pressure on. And, yeah, as you can see, don't want to take that fight. You don't need to. Like, sea poison are really good against Hussars. you got to be careful. Um, if you lose all your Hussars to, like, nothing, well, then they are, your opponent's going to take down your, t uh, your TPs fairly easily. So that's the thing. You kind of got to defend those TPs. But in 2v2s, it's very doable. Now, when it comes to 4v4, it's more difficult, but I swear, like, this strategy is still very good in uh, team games, like, 4v4 as well. And I, I tested it multiple times. So, it looks like my mate sacrificed some units, or I don't know. Anyways, I'm aging now, so I still got a, quite a bit of Hussars out, and finally I'm aging. As you can see, 451 wood, it only costs 500 wood to get that town center so now I can get uh, get it right now so yeah I get my explorer back pay him like a hundred coins not a big deal and I'm gonna get that TC and I got a shipment actually too so I'm not sure what I'm gonna send in with that shipment but I don't even need to send in the thousand wood I already have so much wood just from this, uh, this TP line so I'm curious to see yeah, okay, yeah, three uh, cuirassiers, and the reason for that is just because I like raiding. It's more like my game style. Obviously, you could send in, like, the Falconets and put a lot of pressure, but 
you know, I'm kind of booming right now. It's no longer a rush. It's more like a boom. So I'd rather send in the QSCAs and raid. And it's still a very good shipment overall. Uh, it's, what, 900 resources? So it's still very good. I could upgrade those Hussars, but it's probably not worth it. And, man, my eco's booming. Like, that's already four QSCAs. I'm probably going to get, like, maybe eight or something. And I always do that. Plus the three. It's just an OP, like... OP army pretty pretty soon in the game still it's like 10 minutes 30 seconds of course I could have a bigger hussar mass but as you can see I really want to get a lot of eco getting those town centers up and all you don't want to wait too long getting all that wood from your TP passes because eventually you'll need to switch them on coin because you don't want too much wood you really want like to have that wood by the time you reach age 3 to be able to make your all your town centers and as I said, my explorer finished building this town center, my second town center, so now he can actually build my third because, like, the wood income is so good. It comes really fast. It comes in very fast. And yeah, my mate is making a second town center with France. It's very good. And yeah, that's what I wanted to say also. If you play Spain and try this strategy, the issue is that you're not like you're you don't have CDBs, you have regular vills, so you won't be able to gather as much resources. So getting three town centers with Spain isn't as good as getting three town centers with uh, France, for example. And I got a couple of uh, purples vills right there, just backing up. And obviously they didn't really attack too much. Um, they could have tried to. But honestly, I think we were like faster in age and all. So that's the thing. They, they can't really attack your training poles unless they're like sneaky during a battle or something. If not, it's difficult. But yeah, I think India was sort of booming too. Um, if you check his core, his core is actually pretty good. But look at my score. My mate is playing France. He has 13,104 and I have 17,500. And India is actually doing quite well. And yeah, that's what I was saying. I think he was booming. Um, but look at that. Another like uh, six grand batch or something. Now I need more vills on food. That's something you got to keep in mind. If you generate, like you produce vills from three different town centers, you'll have, you'll need to have a lot on wood. Uh, on food, I mean. And now I'm getting this, yeah, TP. This uh, upgrade from the TP, it gives you a plus 40% gather rate uh, for your villagers that gather from uh, blueberry bushes. And I'm getting also the Sufi Mosque TP. And there's an upgrade that get, uh, gives your villagers a plus 10% gather rate to like literally every resources in the game. So uh, wood, coin, and food. And it doesn't matter if like they're on plantations or mills or gathering from uh, berry bushes or like from mills or hunts. It just doesn't matter. Either ways, you're going to get like it's going to be a plus 10% gather rate. And yeah, we, I just literally melted Red's army. Like, at a point, you just have too much. And the Japanese already out. And yeah, I skipped the game. So, I went industrial. I have 61 bills in 18 minutes. Like, even if they attack when I'm colonial age, I can still defend. And that's really what's dumb about this strategy. Even if they attack, you can, you can defend in Colonial, so they don't really have a like, window of period or a period of time that they can like attack you. And, um, like, they could try to do, like, a time push, maybe when I hit Fortress Age or something. But even then, like, I don't know, I just spam QICs and all, and my eco by then is really good. So you just dominate the whole game. And as you can see, I had like factories, both my factories at like 19 minutes. My eco was outstanding. I got the goats as well from the T 
TPs, the Sufi Moss TP, so that helped too. But yeah, um, I'll show you the resources. I outgathered like everyone. That was the villagers. So at the end, I got a lot. And that's because I had three town centers. Military unit count. Look at that. That's all Kuirassi. Well, mostly Kuirassi is a bit of Hussars. So it's just insane. And yeah, that's all the resources gathered. So I had 45,000 and my mate had like 35,000. So way less. So yeah, I really suggest you try this strategy. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button because it really helps with YouTube's algorithm. Subscribe, share my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.